When I got up here, someone told me, break a leg. <laughs> nice intention, but not quite fitting. They tried their best, though. I was going to do a speech on the army. But, quite honestly, it would have been armless. <laughs> Armageddon is what I have experienced. Now, that may seem like an exaggeration to you, because it all started with a small, trivial accident. End of? Not quite. I had a routine operation to try and resolve it. Then another. And I've just had a third. Third time lucky, eh? The third was even delayed because of lack of staff. The doctors had the best intentions, and they tried their best. But things aren't always so easily rectified, and things don't always go to plan. Despite this, I was treated like royalty. Three square meals, a comfortable bed, amazing. The reason why they didn't succeed is simply that the NHS are broke, just like my arm. <laughs> the system is so cracked, it should be in plaster. And doctors, nurses, GPs, surgeons, they need 10 arms to do what's demanded of them. And they do. That's why they're amazing. They make the best of a serious paediatric elbow break by screwing in an adult thumb plate into my arm. They work between 12 to 24 hours a day without a staff room. I mean, can you imagine that, teachers? Not even a coffee machine or a kettle. But even without these simple things, they do it. They treat patients. Most will save at least one life in their time, if not hundreds. They are companions in times of need. They are healers in times of hurt. They are our lifesavers, but we treat them like dirt. They are the fundamental reason why this country is standing, why we're not left up to our knees in sickness, why I'm on the mend. So next time you see them, think about it. Don't blank them. Thank them. <laughs>